way back from London and thought I'd stop by Sapham Mall and Turf Mains. The medieval maze was created sometime before 1699, as that's when records show payments were made to recut it, and it's just one of eight surviving like it in the UK. It's not the kind of maze you can get lost in, but a beautifully kept example of a winding labyrinth that packs 1,500 metres of path into a design only 35 metres across. I visited the Miz Maze on St Catherine's Hill in Winchester to start my trail walker challenge in 2020, which is an ancient version, and I love the pilgrimage vibe it gave. The idea of walking a labyrinth is to fall into a kind of moving meditative state, you can reflect on something or use it as a way to empty your mind of all but the next step. Pass after pass, you get within touch and distance of the centre, only to turn away again. But all the time with a confident knowing that you will eventually reach the destination. A lesson in patience and trusting the process. Much like the process of painting, sometimes there's a good deal of time where I can doubt that my idea will work out, but eventually, all those brushstrokes add up. There's a nice atmosphere of fun walking here. Families picnicking and children playing nearby, and the circus was in town this time. Along my path, I came across some scraps of litter, but some treasure too. As much a metaphor for life too, I suppose. As in life, I like the idea that my travelling a path has left it a better place. perfect inspiration to finish Mandela May, drawing the labyrinth is as much a meditation as actually walking it. Another reason there's such great creative mind tools. Next year I'll make sure I'm available to give Mandela May my full attention so we'll have live drawing and meditation events, more printouts and giveaways throughout the month, so make sure you're subscribed now. Thanks for joining me here today, until next time, stay inspired! <laughs>